chieftain tank. So welcome back to Taylor's Board everyone. Today we've got another little crafty video for you, haven't we? Yeah, it's crafty. Do you even know what this video is? Not yet, because you haven't told me. It doesn't even know what video we're on, no. Um This video we're gonna pretty much sand the back deck out, aren't we? And yeah. and treat it and paint it and yeah. Yeah. Everything like that. It's got loads of rust spots on it, isn't it? You'll see that I didn't really plan on filming this, um, but I just I go outside and wonder what Dad's doing, and he's just sanding all the rust spots out of the back deck because it was it was really bad, wasn't it? Yeah, there's like rust coming up. It's not bad rust. It's not pitted or anything. It's just light wear and tear rust patches, and I just wanted to get it done before we start properly cruising after the lockdown. Yeah. So I thought, mm, why don't I make a video of it? Mm. Because we're going to pretty much paint the whole boat again. So there will be a video for like each section. Um, apart from the front, because Dad did that without me filming. It was too late, really, for me. It's only the world there, isn't it? Yeah. But that was really kind of a trial run, I guess, he was doing it there. And it was the worst part, really, wasn't it, out there? Mm. S like, spots of rust everywhere. Um... So yeah, pretty much in this video, we're gonna, well, he's gonna sand back all the rust, the worst rust spots, and he pretty much takes the whole, um, all of the all of the paint off of uh, the back deck. So <coughs> yeah, so we're gonna go out there and uh, yeah, we're get that done and do the railings, aren't we? And the upright yeah, railings, let's hop, and the, let's hop in the DeLorean and go back like 20 days. Alright. Hope you enjoyed the video guys. We'll catch you at the end. So there's bits of us done here. Like, it's not even visible from the top. Well, that's why I've had to go back. You can see all the little... Look at it. I don't know what's going on underneath in this. Most of it's alright. Well, no, not most of it. There's certain areas that are alright. But it seems to be under here. Well, just get it right back to the metal, clean it all, degrease it, and start again. Yeah, luckily this is a water-based paint because some of it's going into the marina water. It's not oil-based, so it should be fine. Uh, capturing a lot of it as much as I can into this tray here, sweeping it in to the tray to collect it all. Uh, but yeah, luckily it's water-based. The one I'm going to be putting on is oil based, so when I sand that off eventually I'll have to use a hoover or something to sand that off. So in order to treat this horrible rust, Dad's got to get all the way back to the metal surface. And at that point he can actually get rid of the rust by just sanding it down and treating it with some rust killer. But to do that we've got to sand through all this paint. which takes a lot of sanding pads. Now to get rid of these really horrible bits of rust, Dad's going to use the drill with a little attachment on the end which is pretty much like an iron wall. <laughs> I guess you're up. Oh no. Mm, it's now. <laughs> I don't know, I'm trying. <laughs> Huber. Oh. Man. Is that meant to come off? No. Hmm? The bolts come off. Where? Well oh, look. Oh, that just slides out, yeah, I see. That's good to know. 
I love being outdoors. As long as I've got something to do. <laughs> as long as I've got something to do. <laughs> Green. <All right. laughs> <The Hulk. laughs> Remember that tune at the end? Do 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 do. No, what was the one? Boring. What oh, Luke? Come on, I've got to get this cleaned down, then rust coated. All my core sand and discs are going now, I'm going down yeah, level on. by level. <laughs> So finally when all the sanding is done, we're pretty much just going to clean up all this horrible old paint. In order to put the rust killer on, you've got to clean the surface. For that, we just use a brush and just dip it in the marina water. Right. <laughs> so obviously the surface has to be dry, but luckily it's quite a nice day and also we're going to use a tea towel. And to help kill this rust, Dad's going to start by putting on some rust converter. Once we left the rust converter to do its job for about a day, we came back the next day and put on a coat of primer. I'm sorry about this awful noise, I don't really know what was going on with the microphone. Three coats of primer. Uh, this is the primer, so it's going to have two coats of primer. And then it's going to have three coats of undercoat. And then three top coats, possibly four coats of top coat, because it's the deck. And then there will be sand going in almost, to the, almost on the last coat. There will be sand sprinkled over to allow it to dry and then swept off, and then the last coat. And then that way we've got a nice proper anti-slip deck. You're probably wondering, where's the disaster? It wouldn't be a Taylor's Aboard video about a disaster. And here it is. I'd like to get a shot of the tins and stuff we use. Oh. 
That's my mat gone. That's two mats gone. Both the mats are falling in. Oh dear. I ain't gonna get them back now, it's new mats. Oh shit anyway, isn't it? Just the first coat of red oxide to set we came back the next day and gave it a quick key before we painted it again After two layers of red oxide, it was time to begin our first undercoat. We bought ourselves a roller for the main bulk of it, but for these precision parts, we just got a nice Harris brush. After leaving the first undercoat to set, we come back the next day and begin keying the first undercoat for the second undercoat layer. So that was it, and it just ends there. As you can see, we haven't finished the job yet still, have we? No, the weather's terrible, isn't it? We've been very busy lately, and the weather has been absolutely awful. If it's not raining, or a little bit windy, or it showers forecast, it's very cold, isn't it? Yeah. Below 10 degrees, so we can't put a lick of uh, gloss on it at all at the moment. Or we're, you know, busy doing something else. Yeah, there's loads of stuff happening. So moment. the last day, I can see over that we actually worked on the boat was the 27th of February. On the back deck. On the back deck, yeah. Yeah, so it's getting to that point where Dad might have to put another bloody undercoat on because, you know, we're using it so much and there's no grip on it at all and it's really slippery and it gets really dirty as well. Mm. But we are going to keep it that sort of colour. A slightly darker colour, cream. When, when it's gloss, it's easy to clean. Undercoat's terrible stuff. Uh, it's quite yeah, porous under, under yes, under and it's the so. matte. Mm. But yeah, you'll probably see in all the other videos this white floor. Um, 
on the back deck, and that's just the undercoat. That's not the, what the colour's going to be. Yeah. Um, so I had three primers and three undercoats. But unfortunately, I don't have any other videos in the pipeline at the moment. This video needs to get up tomorrow. <laughs> the weather's been terrible the last couple of days. God, yeah. Uh, absolutely gale force winds. Boat's been 60 rocking. Miles per hour. Yeah. And tomorrow is going to be showers and that. We tried today, but it was showers and it was still quite windy. So, yeah, unfortunately, we couldn't really finish the job. But you'll see in, in another video um, the finished job. And pretty much it's just going to be three more layers of uh, top coat in it. Yeah, it's deck paint that we got. Uh, <laughs> enamel deck paint gloss, and then we're going to put sand in it as well. I've got yeah. some kiln drying sand. I don't know, it might make a a video so yeah I prob I don't know you'll see if I do but yeah yeah just layer gloss one that's fine when we get to gloss two is when we start adding the sand yeah and so then gloss three we brush it off yeah. and then add the third coat but I have I've got a, it's kind of ironic that I don't have any videos to upload but I've got loads on the laptop that I need to edit and stuff but they're all after this one and it doesn't really make sense if I um, release those ones before because I've got an update video coming out next after this one but we need mum for that and she's not here so I can't make the update video before and release it on a Sunday so I have to release this one and the update video is going to explain everything that you'll see in the future videos after after the update video because there's some things we need to talk about and mm. you'll be a bit confused if you watch um, the videos that I've, we've already recorded so yeah, there's going to be a lot of videos and I just don't know if I'll be able to fit another update video in for the paintwork, but I'm sure I will. Um, okay, so look out for that because yeah. it will be coming soon and uh, try, we will try and get it done as quick as we can. Weather permitting again. Yeah. Um, so that's going to be the end of the video. Um, a big thank you to our Patreons, the two of which we have, Narrowboat Adventures and Paul and Sarah Simpson. And yeah, they're good, aren't they? Yeah. Mm. And yeah, please like the video. The VIP club. Please subscribe. Please click the uh, bell, and also check out our Facebook and Instagrams. Thank you very much. Mm.